Hey everybody, let's do an update on the Evelyn Boswell case. The new court date has now been pushed out to February of 2023. Um, that's so that the defense can now analyze fingerprint evidence that was found at the scene. I believe it was one print. Um, it took months, I know, for prosecution to analyze the fingerprint. Um, so now the defense is asking for the same thing. So I thought that what we would do is catch up to what's happened um, up until now with the timeline. So February 18th, 2020, the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office received a referral from the State of Tennessee Department of Junior Services, Children's Services. Referral said certain family members had not seen Evelyn in about two months. The referral came after Evelyn's grandfather, Tommy Boswell Sr., reported his granddaughter missing. That was the same grandfather that they eventually do find Evelyn's body on his property. At this time, Evelyn was last seen by family members on December 26. Sullivan County Sheriff's Office immediately launched an investigation after receiving the report. Evelyn's mother, Megan Boswell, tells authorities that she believes Evelyn is with her father, Ethan Perry. He was in the U.S. military and he was stationed in Louisiana. I believe it was the U.S. Army. Um, when they contacted him, he said that that was not true. That was not the case. February 19th, 2020, the TBI then issued the Amber Alert for Evelyn Boswell around 8 p.m. February 21st, 2020, a gray 2007 BMW with Tennessee license plates is believed to be carrying suspects that were linked to the case. Evelyn's grandmother, Ed Angela Boswell, was arrested with her boyfriend, William McLeod, in Wilkes County, North Carolina, after being found in that same gray BMW. Both McLeod and Angela Boswell were charged with and arrested for theft of property. That was concerned on the actual BMW. Angela's court date is set for March 4th. Evelyn's mother, 18-year-old Megan Boswell, went on camera for the first time claiming that she knew who had her toddler. She later claimed it was her mother, Angela Boswell. At this time, Megan also said in the interview that she was pregnant again. We find out later on that that is also a lie. February 23rd, 2020, the TBI says the mother claimed Angela Boswell had given Evelyn to an unknown or unnamed person and that she was safe and would have a better life with an unknown person. February 25th, 2020, TBI said Megan Boswell told investigators on this day that Evelyn had been killed after she or her boyfriend rolled over onto her in the bed, claiming she did not know where the child's body was. That is the only statement that she has made taking any responsibility for her baby Evelyn. Megan Boswell is arrested and charged with one count of false reporting. Her bond is set at $25,000. Her court date is set for March 2nd. The Tennessee Department of Children's Services announced its own investigation involving Evelyn. February 26, 2020, the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office confirmed that Megan is not actually pregnant, that that was a lie. The Wilkes County Sheriff's Office searched a pond in Wilkes County, North Carolina, which was inconclusive. In that search, I know that they didn't find anything. February 28, 2020, the TBI searched Lakeshore RV Park in Blountville, Tennessee, near Boone Lake. Over 700 tips related to the case had been submitted to the TBI. March 2, 2020, a judge denies Megan Boswell's request to reduce her $25,000 bond. She has appointed an attorney in Bristol and has a new court date set for May 8th. March 4, 2020, grandmother Angela Boswell and her boyfriend William McLeod appear in court for theft charges. Both have bonded out of jail. Angela Boswell is given a March 24th court date and the state asked for more time to bring witnesses in from North Carolina. March 6, 2020, the TBI announced it found remains believed to be those of 15-month-old Evelyn Boswell in Blountville on a property belonging to a family member of Megan Boswell. We know now that that was Tommy Boswell Sr., the grandfather. An autopsy begins to confirm the identity of the body and the circumstances of death. March 9, 2020, a judge raises Megan Boswell's bond to $150,000. After attorneys said that she could be a flight risk, the TBI said the child's remains were found in an outbuilding on the property with diapers and toys around the body, wearing the same clothes that Evelyn was wearing when she was reported missing. March 11, 2020, the Sullivan County DA announced his autopsy results will be sealed due to the large public interest in the case. The TBI confirms the remains found Friday to be Evelyn Boswell. May 6, 2020, investigators identify a person of interest in the case, but do not publicly identify who that is. 
May 20th, 2020, Megan Boswell is charged with 10 additional counts of false reporting, with a grand jury saying she lied multiple times to detectives about the whereabouts of the child. May 27th, 2020, Megan Boswell appears before a judge via, via video, but she declined, the judge declines to lower her bond. July 31st, 2020, Megan Boswell has her hearing date rescheduled for August 28th at 9 a.m. Prosecutors confirmed that they will bring another matter regarding Megan Boswell to a grand jury jury on August 19th. August 19th, 2020, Megan Boswell is formally charged with felony murder, aggravated child abuse, aggravated child neglect, tampering with evidence, abuse of a corpse, and the death of Evelyn Boswell five months after the baby's body was found. So that's where we are now in the Evelyn Boswell case and like I said now it's been pushed out all the way to February of 2023 to wait for the trial so I thought that that would catch us up that's where we're at now you guys have a great day